Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, we'll be learning about what journal entries mean, what is the definition, what is the utility and why it is important for us to record transactions in form of journal entries. Let's go ahead and find out certain details about it. So when we spoke about journal entries, entries are nothing but documenting or recording all the transactions which are done for business or financial purpose. If you recollect some of the transactions or some of the important points that we have mentioned earlier, we have always spoke about the seven step process when it comes to accountancy. Now to go ahead and reiterate the seven step process, this is something that we need to understand and we'll learn about first part being identification of transactions so first is that you identify any transaction which is of financial nature once you have identified the transaction which is of financial nature you go ahead and measure that transaction under monetary value that means any financial transaction which is for business purpose will be further evaluated under monetary value once this has been done, once you give out complete details of monetary value, you further go ahead and record these transactions. Now this is where journal entry will be the major client or probably the major aspect when it comes to recording the transactions. Further, these transactions are recorded under the form of journal entries. You go ahead and classify or summarize these transactions. Classifying and summarizing is an art whereby you classify every of the financial transactions under one specific group. That means all the purchase transactions will be mentioned under the purchase group. All the sales transactions will be mentioned under sales group. This is how you classify and summarize these transactions. Once this process is completed, you go ahead and process these further transactions for analysis and interpretation, which is done by a specialized person known as chartered accountant. Once that has been completed, this further thing goes ahead in preparation of financial statements, that's profit and loss account, balance sheet, and this has been communicated to the users. The users being external like lenders, investors, suppliers to know the financial condition and the status of the company and internal users being the directors of the company, the managers of the company who associated with the work and know what is better for the company or what are the upcoming projects that can be derived from these specific information. Once this has been processed or once this seven step process has been followed, you further go ahead with the importance of journal entries now. So we'll be learning further more on this. Let's go ahead and see certain points that we have mentioned here. Recording of transactions. When it comes to journal entries, it is more of recording these transactions. Every financial transaction which has a monetary value needs to be recorded, not just for the purpose of preparation of financial statements, but for the sole purpose of knowing where these transactions are coming from, how are these coming, how are they originated, and how we have classified these transactions under one specific category, such as purchase transactions, sale transactions, expenses, income, assets, liabilities. So as a business concern, we have different transactions at every point of time. For instance, if you have 10 different transactions in one single day, you have to record all these transactions. But now, as you are a business concern, you just won't be dealing with 10 transactions. You'll have numerous transactions in one single day. Hence, to keep a track record of all these transactions, just to emphasize, keeping a track record of all these transactions, we need to make sure that all these transactions are recorded. Earlier, in the earlier scenarios, we had some accountants or probably we just had recorders who used to mention all these transactions on a single piece of paper. Now, now that the accounting transactions have been further evaluated and have been further complex, we need to make sure that all these transactions are documented and further classified so that in near future, if we have any requirement when we have to compare these specific transactions with the upcoming transactions or the current ones, we have data with us. Hence, recording of the transactions is really important. Let's go on to the second part or the second reason or the utility why it is used. As we mentioned seven step process earlier, 
seven step process forms the core of accountancy any accountancy cannot be based without these seven step process being followed unless and until you follow this seven step process you will have clear idea of what are transactions how are they measured how are they regularized and properly recorded and classified summarized and then further provided for analysis and interpretation which will further give you more information on the external and internal users decision once this has been done the complete accountancy process is completed there at the end of the financial year hence if either of these steps have been missed out then the end result or the users won't have information under their hand that's the reason journal entries recording is one of the important and the core reason after you have evaluated the financial transactions under monetary measurement let's go on to the third part and understand what are the further more reasons why journal entry has considered to be more important as we have mentioned documenting now when we talk about documenting documenting is nothing but mentioning that all these transactions or all these users have a brief idea about what they are dealing with now as a business concern i have different entities or different people who might deal with every now and then to record these transactions just with a human brain is completely impossible because there are a number of transactions that you deal with with one single person how much of these transactions do you think will you record unless and until you don't have a system to record these transactions absolutely not you won't be able to record all these transactions no matter how sharp you are hence the reason we have a recording pattern or the documentation which is done under the form of journal entries we will be using certain accounts certain rules the golden rules to be specified and these rules will be used further to evaluate the kind of journal entries you will be passing so third reason or documentation is one of the most important third reason why journal entries have to be documented so that in near future you have complete data which can be compared with the upcoming data or the current data as well let's go on to the fourth reason and understand how further we can evaluate journal entries here accountancy has been classified further as double entry bookkeeping system we have single entry system we have double entry system journal entry is a part of double entry system whereby we have a debit and we have a credit hence we have classified it as double entry bookkeeping system which will give you more clarification on how any transaction has been credited or debited will have either of the effect so if one of the account is debited will have a further account which will be credited to it hence this is called as a double entry system which is more related to a journal entries let's go on to the next transaction or the next reason further now as you know that recording transaction is one part however classifying them or summarizing them is the next part of it unless and until you don't have journal entries recorded with you you won't be able to classify and summarize if you're not able to classify or summarize these transactions under groups you won't be further able to evaluate the trial balance which won't be able to prepare any kind of financial statements that means no profit and loss account and no balance sheet will be prepared here hence recording transactions can be used or probably further used in preparation of ledger balances which is then classified and summarized under certain groups maybe purchase sales expenses income groups and then we classify them and then provide the details under the form of trial balance which is then further used for preparation of profit and loss account or statement of accounts that is balance sheet so that's the reason why journal entries are important when it comes to further evaluation of ledger balance let's go and find out the next reasons mentioned down there as we mentioned every debit has a specified credit similarly every credit will have a specified debit the same thing is followed when you talk about journal entries journal entries are nothing but just passing entries when it comes to debiting one account and then crediting a similar account which is in nature of that specific transaction for example if you have a sale transaction done to mr a that means mr a account will be debited because he is the buyer and the sales account will be credited because that specific transaction is related to sales 
Hence, we have a debit, we have a credit. That's the reason which is the core part of double entry bookkeeping system whereby every debit will have a certain and specified credit. That's the reason once you find out the journal entries are nothing but every debit and a credit suspending each other or probably complementing each other is something that you need to pass when it comes to recording entries. Once you pass journal entries and once these are recorded in this specific format, it will be very easy for us to prepare journal entries and then further evaluate them under ledger balances because the debit account and the credit account will further be the account titles of the ledger balances that will be created to prepare trial balance in near future. Now, the last transaction or the last specific reason why journal entries are important can be further evaluated here. Let's go ahead and read that out. Now we have discussed about golden rules. We have already known or we have got to know about real account, personal account and nominal account. Let's go ahead and further discuss how these accounts are mostly related to the journal entries. Now when we talk about golden rules, these are the three golden rules or three golden kind of accounts that we have when it comes to any kind of accounting. Every accounting will have these three kinds of accounts. First being the real account, second being the personal account, third being the nominal account. All these three kind of accounts will have further classification of different types of account that are accommodated under this category. So when we talk about real account, that is debit what comes in, credit what goes out. We have two accounts which is been mentioned or which will be mentioned according to this specific golden rule. So to follow this golden rule, you need to categorize the accounts as per the journal entries and once this has been categorized, you can pass journal entries according to this specific real account rule. Now, the next one that we have is a personal account. Debit the receiver, credit the giver. Once you have any classification done or probably any transaction which has personal accounts in them, like Mr. A, Mr. B, any person who is related to any transaction, that means that specific account will be debited or credited as per the nature of the transaction. Debit the receiver, credit the giver. The last one being a nominal account. If your transactions have expenses, incomes, losses, gains, all these things will be classified under nominal account. Debit all expense and losses, credit all incomes and gains. This is the rule that we follow for nominal accounts. Once this has been done, you need to understand or make sure that all these transactions will have certain different accounts and will be classified under these categories. One specific information that we need to provide here that every transaction won't just have one specific account. It might have multiple combinations of real account and nominal account or real account and personal account. It may be the case where you have personal and nominal or both personal accounts being mentioned there. But it won't be just one specific account being mentioned. Hence, there will be a combination of either real, nominal or personal account in either of the transactions or a combination of all these three accounts under one transaction. Hence, importance and utility of journal entries come from the transactions that we record and the way we measure these transactions which are financial transactions under monetary terms. So to make sure all these transactions are completely specified or monitored, make sure the journal entries are passed in a specific way, the journal entries are classified under these categories and further to evaluate these transactions further go as per the classification of three accounts that we have known right now, real account, nominal account and personal account. If these three rules are not followed, that means your journal entries won't be correct and it will further hamper preparation of ledger account with the account titles and then preparation of trial balance. So this is what we have learned today, preparation of journal and the understanding, the reason why a journal is prepared, the importance of it and the utilities of it. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and keep subscribing to Ikeda.